I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on measurements. We'll discuss how to calculate lower bound values and the upper bound values for the given measurements. The question here is, complete the following table. We are given some measurements and for each we have to write the lower limit and the upper limit. So normally, whenever you write this answer, we are writing that x is greater than equal to the lower bound, right? but it is less than the upper bound. So the upper bound value we approach to, but that is not included, right? Now, question number one, mass of paper is, mass of a person is 72 kg to the nearest kg. So to the nearest kg means one kg, right? So we do half of that, half is 0 0.5. So to get the lower bound, what do we do? From 72, we'll take away 0 0.5 and to get the upper bound, 72 plus 0 0.5. Does it make sense to you? Right. So in this case, the lower bound is going to be 71 Point five kg and the upper bound is going to be 72.5 kg. Is that clear to you? Correct. The next one here is length of a straw is 12.4 centimeter to the nearest millimeter. Now one millimeter is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter. Correct. So this time our accuracy is to 0.1 right so what are we going to add and subtract we are going to do 0 0.1 divided by 2 which is 0 0.05 so to this value 12.4 we are going to take away 0 0.05 and we are going to add 0 0.05 Right. So when you add, we get 12.45 and when you subtract, we get 12.35. So that becomes the lower bound and this is the upper bound. Clear? Question 3. The length of a racetrack is 400 meters to the nearest 10 meters. So what should you add and subtract? So you have to divide 10 by 2, so half of it, right? which is 5. So we have to add and subtract 5 in this case. So it becomes, well, let me write here centimeters. Now, so it becomes 400 plus, oh, sorry, minus 5 for the lower bound and 400 plus 5 for the upper bound. And therefore, the lower bound will be 395 meters and the upper bound will be 405 meters. Is that clear to you, right? The last one here is for you to practice. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this one, and then look into my solution. Here we have speed of the car at 62.7 kilometers per hour to the nearest 0 0.5 kilometers per hour. So what should you add and subtract? Well, we'll divide 0 0.5 by 2. So when you do that, we get 0 0.25, correct? So we have to add and subtract 0 0.25, perfect? So what we get here is 62.7 minus 0 0.25 quarter, right? And here we have 62.7 plus 0 0.25. So when we round to 0 0.5, we have to add and subtract half of 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25. Perfect. So when you add 0 0.25, you get 62.95, right? And when you subtract, we get 62 point. So you borrow 1 from 7, becomes 6, right? So 6 take away 2 is 4. So 4, 5. And the units will be kilometers per hour. Is that clear to you? So that is how we get lower bound and upper bound for the measurements. Now these are very important since many of the questions may require 
to find the lower or the upper bound values for different calculations. So this basic that we have to divide it by 2 and then add and subtract to get our limits is very important to understand. Hope this is absolutely clear. Feel free to write a comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be excellent. Thank you and all the best.